In this video, we are going to be talking about how an alternator works in your vehicle, symptoms of a failing alternator, and then a couple of tips on replacing the alternator, specifically for my third gen Toyota 4Runner with the 3.4 liter 5VZ FE engine that is also carried in a Tacoma and a Tundra in the late 90s and early 2000s. Now, to understand the symptoms of a failing alternator, we first need to understand what in the world does an alternator do? So it's actually pretty simple and I'm gonna break it down high level for you guys. Your engine generates mechanical energy as it is spinning, whether it's idle or it's under load. That energy can be transferred to the alternator via a belt. So that's why we have a pulley on the front of the alternator. Now, there is a rotor shaft inside of the alternator that spins, since it's connected with the belt, inside of the coil pack. This is going to generate alternating current, or AC power. Then that AC power is translated into DC power and then flows through a voltage regulator so that the power can go to accessories in your vehicle that use electricity. Now, if we take a step back, not only do your headlights and the radio and blinkers and cigarette lighter all run off of power, but so does the heart of the vehicle. The engine control unit, or the ECU, runs off of power. So, if your vehicle is not producing power due to a faulty alternator, it's going to resort to the battery. Now, we all know batteries only last so long, and if your vehicle is purely running off of a battery, it's not gonna last that long. Cue the symptoms of my failure. So now a little bit of story time for you. A few months ago, we'll say April of 2024, I was driving along and my battery light on the dashboard came on and my ABS light flickered on. Now this only lasted a few minutes and when it turned off, I pretty much forgot about it the next day, which was the wrong thing to do. Instead, what I should have done was researched the problem. And while I didn't have a lot of symptoms to go off of, one big indicator that your alternator is going bad is the battery light turning on, indicating that the vehicle is running just off of the battery, which, as you just heard, if the alternator, alternator fails, that's what the vehicle resorts to. Additionally, as I was driving along now, July of 2024, I started to notice that my tachometer went to zero while I was driving. My engine temperature started dropping, at least on the needle. The radio shut off, but not all at once. The antenna went down and then the head unit a minute later turned off. My blinkers stopped working. All of these components that use uh, power in order to operate them while you're driving or even while you're parked. Now I make this video because I don't want this to happen to you. I ended up broken down in a bowling alley parking lot, an abandoned one at that, at 7.20 in the morning on a work day, which was not super fun. So, if you see that your battery light is popping up on your dashboard, get it checked out. Look and see how old your alternator is. I've checked the forums, I've looked on Reddit as well, and it seems as if these last, the OEM ones that is, but anywhere between 200 to 250,000 miles. Now, I was lucky and this one actually lasted 260,000 miles. Um, but for the most part, if you're in that interval, you might need to start considering replacing your original alternator. Okay, so now enough of my stories, let's talk tips. Tip number one is going to be buying the right parts. For me, I went OEM when I replaced it, and that is a remanufactured Denso Toyota alternator. To me, the original one lasted 260,000 miles. I have no reason to believe that a remanufactured one should last any shorter in a period of time. So 
I paid a little bit more to get an OEM one. It's about a hundred-ish dollars more, depending on where you get it from. Makes me feel comfortable inside. Um, and then if I'm gonna go sell the vehicle, I can also say, hey, these are always replaced with Toyota parts. So parts is number one. Number two is gonna be having the right tools. Now for this job, it wasn't super difficult, but definitely have all of your tools out to start. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and a 14 millimeter. Um, they're not super hard to get to, but having some form of extension or even a flathead screwdriver to loosen electrical connections is gonna be super beneficial as well. Now the third tip, because this job is fairly simple, so there's not a whole lot of tips and tricks in how to do it, but my third tip, and it's not one that I followed, but if you're interested in it, that's why I'm sharing it, is you can just buy the brush kit for these alternators, and the brushes are inside of the alternator, and typically what happens is they wear over time. And so you can spend anywhere from $20 to $40 replacing the brush kit. Now, for me, it was either spend $20 to $40, open up the entire alternator, and possibly fix the problem. Or I ended up spending, I think it was around $250 to $260, which is a lot more, but I knew I was gonna solve the problem. Now, what you could do if you wanted to was if you bought a new one, maybe it's just an auto parts store one for like $60 to $80, and then you also spend $40 on a kit, you can take apart your OEM one, replace the brushes, and then put it back in if you have free time and you just love changing out an alternator. You could always do that and see if that is in fact the issue. So throwing that out there as an option if you don't want to spend as much money and you want to just try and replace those brushes. So with that, this video is over. I hope you guys enjoyed it, understand a little bit more on how an alternator works, realize some symptoms that may come if your alternator fails, and then a couple of tips when buying the parts and installing the new alternator. I'm gonna take this glove off because my hand is now sweating uh, and I still got black goo on my hands, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and with that, I'll catch you in the next one. What in the world does an alternator, alt, pfft.